Apparently, in, in the last podcast, I know I was talking about food. I, I might have brought up jail food. I don't know if I brought up the Gordon Ramsay show from the jail. I put in the search engine jail slash prison recipes. And one thing that is predominantly coming up is ramen noodles. And this is how sick I am, dude. <laughs> I automatically went to what if ramen owns stock in prison, keeping people dependent on their product. Can you imagine how that meeting is going to go? Fuck like, yeah. Okay, so we have our projected sales for the next year coming in. If we could have Bob show us the diagram or whatever it is that business people do. And this fucking guy, go, he, he pulls out a, a chart and he's like, okay. So, in 2019, you can see that we started here. <laughs> and since we since we went and invested in the prison system, our sales have skyrocketed. <laughs> Piece of kebab. Seriously. I'd like to thank all of our uh, political counterparts for making sure that weed stayed illegal in New Jersey that's going to keep our prison population up and our jail population, which is good, as you know. Our beef and chicken ramen flavors do extremely well in those areas. Between poverty and college tuition, the next few years, we are looking to see a steady increase in revenue. <laughs> It's not even right, man. But they're talking to each other like, dude, everything is going great, man, but we're, we're running out of places to bury the money. <laughs> but be that as it may, you see all sorts of things out there in the real world. And it, there was a lot of $100 bills, I'll give it that. And he had it buried. And he said, you never know when times might get tough, the banks could close, whatever. And he said, the safest place you can put it is underground. 